lot of behaviors in Cavalry App have a little time input field. So we can just disconnect this and we can move this around. So one way that you might have seen before is just use a round and then pop a frame in here and then you can see that it's posterizing that time. We have, I'll just jump, change this around. So the run behavior has this little input, which is time and it's rounding to two. So I can just change this to four and we get another effect. It's pretty simple stuff. If you've got by Pepco mini scripts, you can just hit forward slash PK round and it's going to do the same thing. What we can do is just, you can just toggle this on and off by the way. So to add an expression, what we're going to do is type in round value divided by two close and then times by two. That way we don't have any extra layers and we have the same effect. So I can jump in here and change this to four and four as well. So the advantage of using the layers, the behavior layers is because you might want to animate them and you might want to be able to change those. Um, you might want to be able to change those numbers on the fly. You might also want to link them up to something else. But yeah, that's two two different ways of, of doing that. So this this effect here can be kind of linked up with uh, Forge Dynamics as well, which also has the time input. And of course, doing it with noise. Before I jump into the next one, I'm just going to quickly show you what the modulus math operation does. I've got this hooked up to the X position here, and then I can just move this value up. And when it gets to 100, it's going to start again. When it gets to 200, every time it hits 100, it's going to go back to zero. Just letting you know what that is, and hopefully that might clarify a few things going forward. Or not. Okay, uh, I'll show you another little expression. So now I'm just going to use, I'm going to keyframe this animation here put it in value two and on my value I'm going to right click and go control with null. I'll just remove it from that hierarchy and now when I move my null around it's going to move the circle around. So if I quickly just set some keyframes up So in these value behaviors, you've got these little options here for offset and time offset. Time, time offset is quite a unique feature, I think, and it's pretty cool. So you can basically move this around and offset time, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if I wanted to connect that to my main composition time, I can just come up to time and drag it across. The advantage of doing this over setting a right click blah 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 frame is because I don't really need to change anything in it. I don't have to worry about the strength of it or anything else. And now I'm just going to add another little expression. This expression is negative value and percentage, which is modulo, and then what frame we want it to jump. So in this instance, I'm just going to do four. Yeah. So basically this is setting the time going in the opposite direction and it's just rounding up. It's a bit of a tricky one. It's a bit of a funny one. It's a bit of like, it's not tricky. It's just a little unusual, but it kind of works. Okay. So I've got this little animation here, just a few things moving around in a few different ways. What I can do is pop this into a duplicator, change the point to change it to point and then change the count to one. Now we've got this time offset down the bottom here and I can just move this and it's going to do what you kind of think it is like what the other time offset does. Cool. So what I can do here is just go right click and add frame. 
and then in my frame I'm just going to go negative 100 and then if I hit play nothing happens but we've got the offset again and I can move this and it will animate so now what we need to do is we need to pipe in either an expression from here or using that little round function that I showed you before in this instance I'm just going to use the round round little um, setup pk around because I want to be able to turn this into a little component and use it later on okay so now it's kind of frame stepping that which is pretty cool so I can just come into my round here change this to four and away we go I'm not saying this is a perfect solution but it's just another way you can do things if I wanted to pop that into a component I create a component and then I get my rounding attribute and I pop it into here and I open up my duplicator and you've got this little option for input shapes and you've got no option to drag anything in so what we're going to have to use is a custom shape so let's just remove this and then click in here and go custom shape and then in our custom shape we'll put this animation but we'll go back into our component and we're going to drag the value from this input from this custom shape up here as well and we'll quickly just grab everything and pop it in here and i'm going to rename this posterize then we can just come up to the top here right click component edit component and compact layout and then we can just grab whatever shapes we want that are in a group and we can just pop them into here again that's one way <laughs> okay so the last way that i've got is using a script and it's using the time remapping function in cavalry so basically we've got like all these different elements going on and spinning around and they're all on their own standard timeline if we just click on click on one of these so that's the top shape up there and then we come over to kiko and i can just set this to two i can then click another one set this to four another one six and we'll change this to eight so what it does is it just sets you sets up some keyframes for you on your time remapping so you can see my ring here hasn't got any functions so just have a look at the ring it's all smooth it's all going on ones and i just click on i'll do four and it's added a time remapper to it and it's jumped it around so you can grab the script as part of my mini scripts bundle and um, yeah away you go to remove it you just have to select the time remapping layer underneath and then just hit delete um, i hope that gave a few people a few ideas as to how you can wrangle posterized time and cavalry um, if you've got any ideas advice tips tricks um, please just comment below and let me know what you think um, i just feel like this could maybe be improved in some ways so yeah feel free to hit me up cheers